stuck together. It sits in the thing long enough. Yeah, it's a really good shirt. It's one of the one of my old from Freddy's my fission shirts. I liked it because nuclear fission. And then on top of that, I got. And then I actually bought a couple of them. I was like, oh, these are nice. Oh, these are nice. Pretty much any solid color t-shirt you see that I have is a fission t-shirt. Because they were like, <laughs> they usually had a buy one, get one free or 50% off all of them. And I was like, that's the same thing. Like, <sighs> I don't know. So, I'm heading out to doing legs. I'm getting everything in the backpack ready, doing all this stuff. Do I need lights? That doesn't help. The ambiance of the apartment. Rich uranium deposits have been discovered, so oh, I get it. So I'm playing a game on my phone, and it's just, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to be patient with it, but it's sort of like, all I need to do right now is get in, an independent Mars. It's called Terragenesis. Um, and I'm basically going through the first planet, which is Mars. And I have literally everything like down the middle. Like I have tweaked things over the last couple hours and that's why it's almost three o'clock. I mean, here, that's pretty good. Except for the fact that I need my population to go up so that I can get some points so that I can finish off being independent. Like everything, I, I, I need four more points. This is the stupid thing. I need four more points and I don't get another point for another 100,000 people. And I only grow at 300,000 a minute or 3,000 a minute. Kind of why I focused everything to go on. Anyways, not really what this is about. Um, I should probably take a multivitamin. So it is currently, like the video that just went up, yesterday's chest day, yada yada, that, oh, ow, why did my eye hurt? Ah, you know one of those like, the, the socket hurts for a second? Anyway, yeah, today's the second, it's a Friday. I'm going down to do some legs. Uh, and all that jazz. Uh, still haven't really cleaned the tip. Anyways, so, 9, 16, 23, 30. Oh, 9, 16, 23, 30. As of four weeks, we will be kind of like the night before the cruise. And I know, it sounds, it seems like a long, it's, to me it seems like forever since we booked the damn thing, but it's only been like two or three weeks. Going another four is going to be crazy. Willie's told me to go into grind mode because I'm like sitting down being idle uh, and I'm thinking about stupid stuff. Got a, hey, do you want to watch an ad for something? So I'm, sometimes, side note, sometimes those things can come up with like, hey, do you want to like promote this artist or do you want to let them do their own thing for a culture point, which is a free way of getting those culture points, the four that I need so that I can get the independence. So I'm watching ads every once in a while. Uh, at least, I think it's been a couple, I just, I'm sitting here, I'm idle. I mean, I'm not really idle. I have only two blank days on the calendar per week that I do something, I do stuff at the gym, or don't do something at the gym, that's the blank days, uh, or out at the field. So I'm not really doing anything bad. So what's gotten me at least yesterday, was that Kevin broke his collarbone after mine, the week after mine, and was still able to go back for the last game of the season. And I was like, well, you did also have kind of a one break, and I had three. <laughs> I had three breaks, four separate pieces. Um, and so that could... That's just that. Um, our physio Cheyenne talked to me about, you know, healing rates and whatnot. And I took pictures of mine. Oh, well, they, hey, 
reports from my, my last x-ray and it just it was kind of getting to me because it's like Oscari fell off his bike or crash I'm not sure how that happened and he broke his collarbone and now he's been cleared for football and Kevin already went back and actually played football Oscari broke his after the season uh, and one of my friends down in Mexico who's a corner broke his collarbone and he hasn't gone back to football yet, uh, but he's like coaching and whatnot. And I've talked to him and he goes, yeah, he said he was cleared for football like a month ago. And I was like, oh. And my mother-in-law is like, well, did they have such spectacular breaks as you? And I'm like, ah. And George on Oscari's post was like, well, you just have to learn your body. And I'm like, I'm trying to, but I can't judge my own idea of pain. I don't feel pain normally, like most people do. I mean, I do feel pain. Obviously, if I were to take, you know, the wine cork thing and jam it in my eye and spin it around. Well, I don't know if I could be able to spin it around. I'd probably be in so much pain after the initial jam. Um, but like... Does something hurt? I don't know. This has been numb and stiff. Like, that doesn't hurt, but I feel tension all along there. You know? <sighs> also, I did chest yesterday, so that might, a little bit. Um, but I have definitely gotten this, you know, certainly better than the other hand. <laughs> my left arm's always been able to go further up my back side than others, so. Yay! A new technical conference that gained popularity in one of my cities. Leave it alone! Now I got a culture boost! Pardon me. I need to put, put that point in. Culture, plus one. Five percent independence. Awesome! Five oh hundred percent. Um. And I should be hitting... The population one here soon, so I'll have 90% probably by the end of this video. Uh, but anyways, so I've been getting on that, and so like I said, the cruise is just four weeks away, and I'm checking the community tab right now because I put out the but because I put out the uh, the quit I put out the poll. Still looking for vacation stuff. Oh, here it is. Okay, so community announcement: cruise is booked a week ago. This could be literally like one week and 20 hours, and you know, six days and 20 hours because it won't hit now. But three weeks ago, the thing, still looking for vacation stuff, yesterday's video brought it up, and today's goes into more detail, yada yada. That was the whole 78% going for cruise. Can I click this? Can I actually see what date that was posted on? No. We hit 11,000 subscribers. I don't keep track of it. It's not, I used to, but then I th at the time when I thought it could grow fast and now it's, I, it's just, you subscribe if you subscribe. You watch the videos if you even watch the videos. I guarantee you there's a lot of things I subscribe to that I don't really watch every video. I don't actually watch a lot of videos. If I realize that I haven't watched a video in a month, I unsubscribe. <laughs> I don't want to be padding their numbers because I don't watch their stuff because at one point, I thought that if I subscribed to a channel, that it would show up on a list somewhere, and that I would be a part of the cool kids for subscribing to a channel, but that's not a thing. So, let's see. If it was only a week ago, I should be able to scroll back. Heat management, guess what I'm only, inside Hemsels, oh, that one went to Patreon all by itself. I forgot to upload a video. Or I forgot to put a video into one of our videos that I recorded on my phone. So, and it was already well after the fact. And I was like, oh, okay, so let me upload this and make it to Patreon only. Yeah, Patreon news and the cruise. Date, 7-20-2009. Forgot, we had to switch the can. 7-20. Today is the second. So that was a Saturday. So that was almost two weeks ago. Okay. I told you, it was like a week. I'm like, that doesn't sound right. So it's been two weeks since I announced the fact that we had a cruise and we have another four weeks to go and I'm going to drive myself crazy. <laughs> uh, I plan on doing much more of an announcement as to what is going on with the cruise uh, here in the future 
we might do that for Aaron's birthday uh, weekend, which is next weekend, by the way. His birthday is the 12th. So nine and or so 10 and 11 are Saturday and Sunday. Uh, tomorrow there's apparently float down the river and canals because the Amstel is a river. And then the canals, they call it the canal parade, but I think it mostly goes down to Amstel. But I don't know. I haven't seen this. I literally landed the day <laughs> that it happened. So I'm borderline a month or borderline a year here as of Monday. So expect videos about one year in the Netherlands sort of thing. Not, Aaron and I need to record those. It's been two weeks since I announced the cruise to you guys. And to me, it feels like a month. So it's gonna feel like two, so if that continues, it's gonna feel like two months before I actually go down to. So I'm trying to just focus on grind mode and doing the gym stuff and going out. I've thoroughly determined that I cannot rearrange the gym, the dinner schedule of my own scheduling. So I can't join the guys out at base for sporting. I had it in my mind to actually apologize to Nick about that one, but then I realized, no, I need to stop apologizing for things overall. Um, and that nobody actually gives a crap. I'm apologizing for something that nobody cares about. <laughs> um, you know, I understand it's for team building and stuff, but that's, that's part of that. I'm be driving myself crazy. Hopefully here in the next couple of weeks we'll have some sort of goose training or whatever they're calling it. Hopefully something will happen on the chat. I will get something. I'm talking with a couple of the guys, but not a lot of them are very chatty people to begin with, and the people that I did know back in the States that are chatty don't get back to me for like hours and hours and hours because they're asleep. Or they don't even notice that they get notifications, so it is like a week before they even notice, and I get like three videos at once all reacting to stuff that I did seven freaking days ago. Oh, I'm looking at you, Willie! Woke up this morning to three Snapchat videos responding to stuff, and I'm like, what the hell did I send you? I try to remember. <laughs> I do. But, I, I don't know. It's really awkward. Uh.